But first, we are tracking storms over our area right now. Here's a live look at the first one Doppler radar. You can see scattered storms across the Carolinas. Over the next few hours, this system will become more widespread, so we all will see some rain. Including in Uptown, where Panthers Fan Fest happening tonight. The gates just opened at Bank of America Stadium. Hopefully, the fans brought those jackets. It looks like most of them are in their ponchos right now because they're going to need them. We have a few crews out at Fan Fest tonight. We'll check in with them in just a little bit. First, we want to go over, go ahead and check in with Brad Panovich. Uh, what can we expect to see tonight, Brad? Well, we're going to see these downpours in Uptown for a while. So if you're going to Fan Fest, it's going to be okay. They're going to get it in. This has happened for four years in a row. We've had rain either at the start or at some point during Fan Fest. The good news is there isn't a lot of lightning with this, and this is not moving. That's the concern because it's it's not just going to move in and out. It's going to have to sit here and rain itself out. But if you watch carefully, it's actually starting to do that. We're starting to see the rain let up in South Charlotte. Just some great flood video uh, tweeted tweeted at me from Myers Park in the Dilworth area where it's some flooding on the roadways. This is coming down at one to two inches per hour. So over the urban center like this, all that impervious surface, that water runs off quickly, causing street flooding. The heavy rain right over Uptown right now. It is pouring at Bank of America Stadium, but the heavier stuff now pushing north and west of Uptown. This is going to be around for a while. It's six o'clock now. I would expect the rain to stick with us for about another 45 minutes to an hour before it moves out. It's going to have to kind of rain itself out. Now we'll watch for additional showers developing in Union County to the south. But I think once this little batch kind of moves out and gets out of the way, we should have a dry period for the middle part of Fan Fest. Also some downpours up in parts of Caldwell County, but you get the overall overall idea. There's a lot of breaks in between these heavier downpours. So heavy rain through the evening hours. Again, I think rain chances will go back up towards fireworks time. We we might see a delay. The bigger concern would be lightning. That would definitely for fan safety will probably delay things until the lightning moves out of the area and that will happen probably in about an hour or so guys. Right now, Panthers fans are eagerly, eagerly filing into Bank of America Stadium. The gates just open for the Fan Fest at 6 o'clock. The night should be jam-packed with fun things to see, fireworks, a laser show, and, of course, the players' practice. Our Hunter signs out at the stadium among the fans. We'll head out to him live in just a minute. But first, we're going to talk to Nick Carboni. He's also at the stadium live tonight with what we should watch for on the field. Nick. Well, rain, Sarah, rain. Brad did say it was still raining in Uptown. I can confirm that. I can also confirm I'm not the smartest guy out here. The poncho salesman is cleaning up. We've got Marco and Yael. Hey, give me a go Panthers real quick. Oh, Panthers! There you go. Okay. Yeah, bring your poncho. It is going to rain here for a little bit more. I know it rains every fan fest, and yet here I am without a poncho or a raincoat. Maybe next year. Anyway, Cam Newton is focused on this year. We're going to see how that shoulder holds up. He's thrown almost every single day of training camp so far. He will throw tonight, we think. Our own Eugene Robinson breaks down what he's seen from QB1 thus far. I see Cam once again leading this team. I see Cam, his ability to throw the ball and be comfortable throwing the ball. And another thing I think I've seen with Cam is the connection with the receivers. I mean, the DJ Moore, the Curtis Samuels, also McCaffrey. I've seen this guy really kind of become the Cam that we're used to having. And don't forget, he was hurt all last year, and now he's not hurt. You better watch out. All right. Hopefully we'll see Cam throwing the night. We know we will see him doing the wave with fans like Marco and Yale. Marco, you got something else for us? Can I have your poncho? Uh, no. <laughs> I didn't think so. I'm going to have to get my own, guys. All right, get your own poncho. Try yeah, to take right. it from the kids. <laughs> Thanks, Nick. <laughs> Meanwhile, as the players warm up, the fans are packing into the stadium, excited for the return of football. Our Hunter Signs is out there among the excitement tonight. He joins us live and, and dry, too. Hunter, uh, what are you seeing right now besides the <laughs> I beat the rain, Fred and Sarah. Thankfully, we are just here inside the entrance. As you can see behind me, fans are making their way in their wet ponchos to get not only a roster here, but also look at this cool light stick. Can you imagine just cheering on those players on the field with this thing, especially at night? It'll be a cool thing. But of course, they are dealing with some rain. Let's get you a look of outside this stadium. You can see everybody in their ponchos as they filed in. They did open these gates about 15 minutes ahead of time. Also, it's worth noting more than 62,000 tickets were sold for this fan fest. If everybody attends with the 62,000 uh, people who uh, bought those tickets, this would be a record for fan fest. And as you are well aware, as you saw earlier, people are pumped up about this season. Let's take a listen to one of these super fans. 
Are you feeling lifelong dream to make it back here again? Last time I was here was the Monday night game against the Saints. I just love the atmosphere. I love Charlotte, beautiful city. I love my owner. I love Tepper. They're not afraid to pull the trigger. Anything we need, to make, this is a special season. Listen to me. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a special season this year. You can expect for us to make it to the Super Bowl. So remember, for your comfort and safety, they are pumped up here at Bank of America Stadium. Seven o'clock is when everything happens here on the field and then a fireworks show after. The good thing is, although it has been raining, we haven't seen any lightning so far, which is a good sign. For now, reporting live at Bank of America Stadium, I'm Hunter Signs. Back to you. Hunter, thank you. If you're headed out there tonight, be sure to log on to our WCNC mobile app before you go. We've got a list of everything you need to know for tonight's event. The app is free in your devices app store.